Good morning, grandchildren. I have a story for you today. Can't you sleep, little bear? Aww. Holding his human doll. Once there were two bears. Big Bear and Little Bear. Big Bear is the Big Bear and Little Bear is the Little Bear. They played all day in the bright sunlight. When night came and sun went down, Big Bear took Little Bear home to the bear cave. So there they are in their beautiful forest. Do you see their bear cave anywhere? Let's see if you can find their bear cave. Where is it at? Can you tell which one's Big Bear and which one's Little Bear? Uh-huh, I can too. Big Bear put Little Bear to bed in the dark part of the cave. Go to sleep, Little Bear, he said, and Little Bear tried. Big Bear settled in the Big Bear chair and read his bear book to the light of the fire, but Little Bear could not go to sleep. So here's Big Bear reading his book, all chilled out by the fire. And then there's Little Bear piled up in bed. But oh, he's having some trouble. Can't seem to go to sleep. Can't you sleep, Little Bear? Asked Big Bear, putting down his bear book, which was just getting to the interesting part, and padding over to the bed. I'm scared, said Little Bear. Why are you scared, Little Bear? Asked Big Bear. I don't like the dark, said Little Bear. What dark, said Big Bear. The dark all around us, said Little Bear. Aww. There's his book and his glasses, and here he is talking to Little Bear. Dark all around us, making Little Bear fearful. Hmm. Big Bear looked, and he saw the dark part of the cave was indeed very dark. So he went to the lantern cupboard and took out the tiniest lantern that was there. Big Bear lit the tiniest lantern and put it next to Little Bear's bed. There's a tiny light to keep you from being scared, Little Bear, said Big Bear. Thank you, Big Bear, said Little Bear, cuddling up in the glow. Now go to sleep, Little Bear, said Big Bear, and he padded to the bear chair to settle down to read the bear book by a bright light. Mm -hmm. Now look at that tiny little lantern. Think that'll be enough light? No. Little Bear tried to go to sleep, but he couldn't. Can't you sleep, Little Bear? Yawned Big Bear. Can you yawn? <sighs> Can you do that? He was getting interested in his book with only four pages to go and padding over to the bed. I'm scared, said Little Bear. What are you scared of, Little Bear? I don't like the dark, said Little Bear. What dark, said Big Bear. The dark all around us, said Little Bear. But I brought you a lantern, said Big Bear. Only a teeny weeny one, said Little Bear. And there's lots of dark. Big Bear looked around and he saw that Little Bear was quite right. There were still lots of dark, so Big Bear went to the lantern cupboard and took out a bigger lantern. Big Bear lit the lantern and put it beside the other one. Oh, wow. That's a bigger lantern, but not much bigger. Now go to sleep, little bear, said Big Bear, and he padded back to the bear chair and settled down to read the bear book by the light of the fire. But Bear tried and tried, but he just couldn't go to sleep. Can't you sleep, little bear? grunted Big Bear, putting down his bear book with just three pages to go and padding over to the bed. I'm scared, said little bear. What are you scared of, little bear? asked Big Bear. I don't like the dark, said little bear. What dark? asked Big Bear. The dark all around us, said Little Bear. But I brought you two lanterns, said Big Bear. A tiny one and a bigger one. Not much bigger, said Little Bear. And there's still lots of dark. So there he is settling down to read. I think I see what the problem is. He's doing somersaults instead of laying still like he should. Hmm. Big Bear thought about it and went to the lantern cupboard and took out the biggest lantern of them all with two handles and a piece of chain. He hooked the lantern above Bear's bed, Little Bear's bed. 
I brought you the biggest lantern of them all, he told Little Bear. That's to keep you from being scared. Thank you, Big Bear, said Little Bear, curling up in the glow and watching the shadows dance. Now go to sleep, Little Bear, said Big Bear, and he padded back to the bear chair and settled down to read the bear book by the light of the fire. Wow, what a huge lantern. Little Bear tried and tried and tried to go to sleep, but he couldn't. I wonder why. Look again. Look at it. He's doing somersaults and playing. Can't you sleep, Little Bear? groaned Big Bear, putting down his bear book with only two pages to go, padding over to the bed. I'm scared, said Little Bear. What are you scared of, Little Bear? said Big Bear. I don't like the dark, said Little Bear. What dark? asked the Big Bear. The dark all around us, said Little Bear. But I thought, but I brought you the biggest lantern of them all. Yes, there is. Oh, excuse me. And there isn't any dark left. Yes, there is, said Little Bear. There is out there. And he pointed out of the bear cave at the night. Ah, see, so he's pointing to the exit of the bear cave. Hmm. Big Bear saw that Little Bear was right. Big Bear was very puzzled. All the lanterns of the world couldn't light up the dark outside. Big Bear thought about it for a long time and then said, Come on, Little Bear. Where are we going? asked Little Bear. Out, said Big Bear. Out into the darkness, said Little Bear. Yes, said Big Bear. But I'm scared of the dark, said Little Bear. No need to be, said Big Bear, and he took Little Bear by the paw and led him out of the cave into the night. And it was dark. Oh, I'm scared, said Little Bear, cuddling up to Big Bear. Big Bear lifted Little Bear and cuddled him and said, Look at the dark, Little Bear, and Little Bear looked. Wow, it's dark there. Look how scared Little Bear is. I've brought you the moon, Little Bear, said Big Bear. The bright yellow moon and all of the twinkling stars. Wow. Can you see a star? Where's the moon? But Little Bear didn't say anything, for he had gone to sleep, warm and safe in Big Bear's arms. Big Bear carried Little Bear back into the bear cave, fast asleep, and he settled down with Little Bear on one arm and Bear Book on the other, cozy in the bear chair by the fire. Ah, he's sound asleep. And Big Bear read the bear book. Get him cuddled up with the fire. He read the bear book right to the end. <coughs> you know, Grandpapa fell asleep on the couch the other night. I don't know, I was really tired, I guess. I fell fast asleep and... <gasps> I woke up about midnight and I had to go to bed in the dark. So it's always best just to go to bed and go on to sleep. I love you grandchildren.